go. Now, issue two. I, I, I mean, this crosses all party lines in Ohio. Cincinnati conservative radio and television talk show host Bill Cunningham produced a video supporting a no vote on issue two. Let's take a look. Many months ago, right there sat the governor of Ohio, John Kasich. And John Kasich told me, the rock rib Republican conservative governor of this state, that he would not meet with the labor unions. He was wrong in not meeting with state employees, especially those in labor unions. From my perspective, those affected by governmental decisions need to have a place at the bargaining table to determine the outcome of what's being discussed. I urge you to vote no on state issue two. Wow. Joining me tonight, Bill Cunningham, the conservative radio and television talk show host, has a daytime TV syndicated program. Congratulations. Ed, how are you? I'm doing fine. You and I don't agree, but I think you're a straight talker. I think we're Americans. And one thing that I told Kasich in February and March is that sit down with those you disagree with. It does two things. It tests your own validity. You test what they have to say against your beliefs. And secondly, you make them feel as if they're part of the solution instead of part of the problem. He didn't do that. Kasich told me no. And uh, John's my friend. He was my friend before S uh, Senate Bill 5. I'm going to vote for him when he runs for office, likely again. I introduced him at election rallies in October before he was elected. I was there for John. He's a good man. This is a mistake he's making. And the mistake is this. This bill says it has collective begging and not collective bargaining. Let's say you and your lovely wife or me and my lovely wife are in divorce court and we don't agree on the custody of the kids. How would you feel if your wife went up to the bench, put the robe on and ruled in your case? That is what Ohio is. At the end of the day, if there's not an agreement, the position of management is imposed upon the workers irrespective of an independent judgment. Do you think there's a lot of conservatives in Ohio that think the way you do on yes, this uh, issue? Uh, Senator Bill Seitz is my buddy from uh, Western Hamilton County, conservative. I spoke to him today. He laid out six or seven great things in the bill that probably Democrats would agree to, but we can't agree to collective begging instead of collective bargaining. That's the heart and soul of the agreement. So Republicans are being, in a sense, fair-minded in Ohio, saying you can't do this to public employees, you can't do this to collective bargaining, no. but they like the idea that they've had a governor that's gone after the Republic, the Democratic establishment when it comes to organizing, social networking, boots on the ground, and raising money for Democratic candidates. But he went too far this time. He, he went, this is more extreme than Wisconsin. I had a Mark Monahan today on my radio show. I've had on the FOP. Cops and firefighters vote Republican in Ohio about 70%. They're never going to vote for another Republican. These are the people that put Kasich in power. The NRA types put Kasich there. Yeah. And when people like me and Bill Seitz say a bridge too far, that's why. It's not going to be defeated because of people like your philosophy. It's going to be defeated well, because of if he's your friend, why'd you weigh in on this? It, it's, I mean, it, well, I'll tell you why, Ed. I, I think I mean, friends, this is politically going to hurt him. It hurts him a lot. And, and I think why, why I did it, friends need to tell friends when they're wrong. Hopefully my opinion has more value because I was a Kasich supporter before, and I'm going to vote for Kasich the next time. But well, you're campaigning against him. I mean, this on is... On this issue. Okay. But one, on, one issue. On this issue. There's one issue I stand, believe was, it or not, with Ed Schultz. What, okay. Was he trying to outdo Scott Walker and some of these other Republican governors out there? I mean, this is a one-upmanship kind of deal. Is it? Well, police and fire are uh, not exempt. Uh, they want to say they're exempt with safety, but that's not true. At the end of the day, if the management position is imposed without an independent arbitrator, it's collective begging and not collective bargaining, and my friend John is wrong. I